Well, let me unfold it. Hello, good night. Good night. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. How are you? <laughs> Check you out. Oh, please. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Of course, I definitely want to join. Don't you see me typing away like crazy? I'm sitting in the car. Yes, like, from, from, let from. Let me just park. Let me pull over and park because this is definitely my topic. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I'm an ICU nurse, so I'm currently working with COVID patients right now. Okay. And um, I'm seeing patients dying every single day. And um, if you should ask me, like, even though this is something that we are trained to do, ask if it does affect my mental health 100%, yep. you know? And I think that um, it, mental health is one of the biggest, biggest, biggest topic that people should definitely be promoting and talking mostly about because, you know, and especially I feel like, I, like I'm like i Jamaican. I, I left Jamaica when I was 15 and I came to Canada. And yes. I remember when I was there, I used to be so stressed out and depressed and I didn't know what it was. I didn't understand what I was going through. You know what I mean? And I remember when I used to be around certain types of people, they used to say um, stuff like, you know, what wrong with you? Yeah, go mad. Something wrong with you. I want to the mad girl. Yeah, she go crazy. You know, or I even started at one point talking to myself and answering back. You know what I mean? And I, it's just to be transparent about it. Like I used to uh, talk to myself and literally answer myself like, okay, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do this right now. And I answered myself and it, I used to hear voices in my own head telling me what to do when I'm trying to differentiate whether it was someone talking to me or me talking to myself. And these things... You don't know. You don't know that it's going on. It doesn't matter how pretty, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity. Everyone has a brain that works. And if you don't exactly. take care of that brain, oh. you will definitely end up, you know, feeling some type of way. Whether you're oh. down, whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety, whether it's a panic attack. I have friends who have major panic attack and they, they have no idea that it's a part of mental health as well. I have friends oh. that are, they have anxiety. They hear something and all of a sudden they started trembling. I have friends that, you know, you know, and I myself, I've been through depression, you nope. know, over the years. And I, I can be very transparent about it because depression is something that a lot of us go through and we don't That's even know that we're going through it. I didn't know I was depressed. When I came to Canada, I found out what depression was. <laughs> I'm 15 coming off the plane. And finding out, like, at school, I found out when I was 16 years old, I never forgot. You know, my teacher called me one day and say, you know, she said to me, you know, why are you not paying attention in class? And I remember she asked me to write something. Uh, it was a biography about, like, my life. And yes. what I wrote about my life was one of the reasons why my guidance counselor and my teacher pulled me into the office and started questioning my life. And that's when I learned exactly what depression was and what mental health was and what was kind of affecting me and why. Because I was secluded. I wasn't happy. I wasn't, you know, I, I, I was different. You know, I came to Canada and I have this strong Jamaican accent. And every time I open my mouth, everybody in my class laughs. You know, <laughs> so, you know, that I had to deal with the, the culture difference, you know, coming into a, a country that's diverse based from where I was coming from. So this is such a broad time. I could talk about it for hours, but I'm going to shut up for a little bit right now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's a broad topic. I mean, I tell you, like, especially with what you go through, especially if you go through past traumas, those things affect you mentally just the same. Because if you realize that you look funny, your mind process, like a lot of people go through stuff and they're not, they're not strong enough to f f deal with it. Some of them kill themselves. And we see yes. it. Reality. It's not like we're not seeing it. Like when you go through things and it's overwhelming, man, it's like you cannot bear it. And sometimes there's nobody for the, you to really talk about because that's why I always encourage people try to build a bond from a very young age with these kids so they can be able to share stuff with you. Because based on how we deal with them or we treat them, when things happen to them, they're not going to want to speak to us about it. They rather go to someone else than us. So we have to build a bond. And it, it's a war topic for real, especially if you go through abuse. All kind of stuff. It's just a big 
spectrum where we can really talk about this and anxiety may go through you may know what you feel like and this is why we say it's very important to talk about it because by seeing things and people used to say this is what was happening but when you come now you realize that was not what was happening because we were not educated about certain stuff so when you start you say oh no we see and this is caused by stress being a single mother and have no father to help you you know that affect you big time especially if you don't really have the family support your family support background is poor just the same no one there to rely on bills have to pay food have to eat all of them something so exactly exactly i think especially in the caribbean i think this is exactly one of the major reasons where the stress comes from you know what i mean because i remember when my mom is a single was a single parent and you know she was doing everything she could to take care of me but i wanted stuff that i wasn't able to get you know what i mean and i think that's where the stress comes in as a kid because you're seeing other kids with stuff and you're like, oh, that kid have that kind of toy yep. and you yep. wish you could get it. You know what I mean? As a kid growing up. And I think that's where a little bit of it stemmed from. And of course, when you're in a different, when, when you're in the Caribbean, you know, you have to deal with abuse. You know, back then, you know, I'm, I, they, they're, they're not afraid for lick you. You know, you talk, you get licked. You walk, you get licked. You know what I mean? And I don't think they understand that some of those things leave you traumatized and yep. those memories there's those things even affect you like yep. i have a friend that her dad used yep. to tie her up and beat her you know and it's not that he didn't love her but he used to do stuff like that to her and until this day she would wake up you know having trauma like she would be traumatized about it so she would wake up every now and then jumping up out of her sleep saying mm. she she could see her see feel as if her dad was still doing that to her and it's not to say he's a bad person. He's, they have a great relationship. But that was being done when she was a younger kid. I mean, and, uh, from not listening, from not doing what he wants to do, you know, stuff like that. So those little things, uh, any little thing can leave a trauma in your mind. And it yep. could cause you to feel depressed. And it could cause you to feel some type of way. And, you know, it yeah, messes but, with your mind. And because... You know? With her going through that now, she has say, oh, daddy don't love me. Why is it daddy doing this Exactly. Me? Why daddy are treating me so and all of those things and not knowing that daddy is fighting his own battles just the same. Exactly. So it all comes with growing up understanding because it's truly a fact. You are, they have been through that part in their life and you know as a youngster growing and becoming that uh, being where they were at and then you start to understand you see the hardship of life for you, especially if you have kids. You have to make sure that yep. Hey, yeah, it, it, it's a as I'm gonna say, it's a big. It's world. a broad topic. It's a broad yeah. topic, and I just hope that everyone is able to, at some point, become transparent about it because the healing begins with being honest about True. what you go through. The True. healing also begins with prior. The healing also begins with finding a platform, finding someone that accepts you for being you, that you're able to be transparent about it and not being afraid to say, okay, I don't want to talk about what, I go, what I've gone through because what you've gone through can help a thousand other persons. Thank you. You know and what I mean? And this is why we have to talk about this topic, especially with Black Jamaican people. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jamaican, yeah. we, we know from the culture, we not, we not talk about the topic like I am madman. You're yep. mad, are you a mad woman if you if you have mental health issue? So it's good that you know we have this platform right now where we're able to talk about it, where people can feel more comfortable. Now that people are gonna see you and I talking about it so openly, maybe other people will not won't be afraid to join in, and we can talk about some of the things that we can help, you know, to help to heal. Well, yep, first, yep. healing starts with being transparent. The second thing, healing starts with finding something to motivate and inspire you in life. You know what I mean? And then, you know, you stick. And it's about being consistent. You have to be consistent. So some of the little things that, you know, that, you know, people are going to watch and say, well, they talk about mental health, but they're not talking about got you, you know? But these are some of the little things that we have to do. You have to... Find things, you know, focus. If your mental health is being affected by what you watch in social media, then you need to go on a social media fast. Meaning that you need to take yourself from social media for a little bit and start reading something. Maybe read the Bible. Maybe read, you know, read a book. Maybe read something about exercise. If you want to lose weight, then focus on that. You know yep, what I mean? Yep. So 
it's just about finding ways to cope. Yep. That's, you know? That's but cool. I want to stay with you much, much longer. But guess what? The bell calls and I got to go. Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate that. And as I said, it's something that, you know, I've been talking about this with someone. I've been reaching out to person just to see. But, you know, I'm a person. I like to get things going. So, you know, but thank you for coming on. It's something that we're going to be talking about every yes. week. A platform, and that's what I want to do. I also want to use my platform to encourage, to inspire, to educate, and to, I'm you know. I'm so proud of you. I am, you. Listen, I'm so proud of you. We got to talk more off, but I'm so 